one of the biggest threats to human health in Kabul lingers in the air. Rapid population growth, heavy traffic, and the use of low-grade fuel are just some of the main contributors. But it's also the burning of fossil fuels, which Afghans use to heat their homes, that's increasing the emission of greenhouse gases. And that's why engineers from U.S. forces Afghanistan have focused their efforts on a sustainable method that over time will reduce carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The biogas technology allows us to convert waste to energy. It provides us with a usable clean gas, methane, and it also provides a clean effluent, or a usable effluent, a nutrient-rich fertilizer. Construction of a biogas plant started recently at Afghanistan's Renewable Energy Department. The cost of clean energy, roughly $500 per plant, but it's tough to put a price on its potential benefits. It helps reduce, uh, reduce the deforestation, it provides an alternative energy, and it also improves human health in the environment by providing a clean energy in the home. The plant takes these local Afghans about 30 days to build. They've prepared the foundation by compacting the soil to subgrade, and now they're putting down a river rock, a cobblestone, and they'll lay some, uh, a concrete mixture on top of that, a cement mixture. Next step after this uh, is to begin the foundation with the brickwork. Animal waste will be fed into the lower part of the structure, where it will be then converted to fertilizer. The biomass will be somewhere here. This whole volume will be gas. The gas will bubble up and be collected in the top of the dome. Uh, the outlet pipe will come out the top and from there be ran to the schoolhouse to uh, provide heat and lights for the school. If cheap renewable energy can be developed and, and spread to the masses, to the people, it, it will be incredibly good for the country. I think it's so important for us because we have a lot of agriculture, land, and a lot of people are farmers. So it's very important for us to be familiarized with this type of technology. And in fact, U.S. 4A engineers are already planning on integrating this technology at a local dairy farm. Petty Officer Liz Murray, Kabul, Afghanistan.